Hello everyone and welcome to class of networking in the cloud. So in the networking section we have VPC network. This is virtual private clouds. We have network in this virtual private cloud we have VPC network, external IP, firewall, routes, peering, shared VPC and serverless. We have networking network services under this we have load balancing, cloud DNS, cloud CDN, traffic detector. We have hybrid connectivity. There we have virtual private networks, network service tiers, we have network security. Under network security we have cloud armor and SSS policies. So today we will discuss about in networking in the cloud, we will discuss the first section of the networking which is VPC network. So, these are the VPC network, virtual private cloud networks. These are the locations, IP addresses, gateways, firewall rules, flow logs, etc. So, VPC, these are virtual private clouds are the software version of a physical networks that link resources in a project. GCP automatically creates a virtual private cloud when you create a project. So you can create additional VPCs or modify the VPC which is created by GCP. VPCs are global resources so they are not tied to a specific region or a zone. Resources such as compute engine virtual machine, Kubernetes engine cluster can communicate with each other assuming traffic is not blocked by the firewall rule. Virtual private cloud contains subnetworks. Subnetworks are known as subnets which are regional resources. Subnets have a range of IP addresses associated with them. Resources use these addresses to communicate with each other with Google APIs and services. So in addition to VPCs associated with projects, we can create a shared VPC in an organization. The shared VPC is hosting on a common project. Users in other project who have sufficient permission, they can create resources in the shared VPC. So how we can create a VPC with console? Suppose we require to create another VPC. So we have to go here, create VPC. We require to assign a name and a description. Subnet also, we have a list of subnets also that will be created in the VPC. We can give the name, region, IP address, private access, you can give the dynamic routing mode and we can create it. When a VPC is created, subnets are created in each region. Google Cloud Platform chooses a range of IP address for each subnets when we create auto mode network. Like see, here we have custom or we have automatic mode. So it provides automatic. So if you want to create yours, you can custom it. Now, you can deploy a virtual machine with the custom network configuration using the console and the command line. Like you require to create an instance in networking configuration form, you require to add a network interface. We require to specify the IP address or we can choose the primary internal IP settings. Then we can create firewall rules. We can create firewall rules to a virtual private cloud. Firewall rules are defined at the network level and used to control the flow of network traffic to virtual machine. Firewall rules allow or deny a kind of traffic to a port. For example, a rule may allow TCP traffic to port number 22. They also are applied to traffic in one direction, either incoming, ingress or outgoing. So it is important to note that firewall is a stateful which means that if traffic is allowed in one direction a connection established is allowed in another direction firewall rules are stateful so if a connection is allowed like establishing sss connection on port 22 then all the latter traffic matching this rule is permitted as long as the connection is active uh, if we require to create a firewall rule we have its components. 
फाइवर रूल हैज़ अ कॉम्पनेट डायरेक्शन प्रियोरिटी एक्शन अलाउ और डिनाई प्रियोरिटी इट इज़ अ सेट ऑफ इंटीजर बिटवीन जीरो टू सिक्स डबल फाइव थ्री फाइव टारगेट सोर्स डेस्टिनेशन प्रोटोकॉल पोर्ट इन्फोर्समेंट स्टेटस फायरवॉल स्टेटस कनेक्टेड और इनेबल्ड और डिसेबल्ड सो वेन ए वी पी सी इज ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएटेड डिफॉल्ट नेटवर्क इज क्रिएटेड विथ फोर रूल्स वॉट आर द फोर रूल्स इनकमिंग ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम एनी इंस्टेंस ऑन द सेम नेटवर्क इनकमिंग टी सी पी ट्रैफिक ऑन पोर्ट ट्वेंटी Incoming TCP traffic on port three double three eight nine allowing RDP allowing ICMP Internet Control Message Protocol from any source on the network. So default rules have priority six five five three four. So we can see the list of firewall rules, or we can create a firewall rule from this form. Thank you.